Right, I've now cut out my pattern pieces as you can see. The two pieces that need to be uh, interfaced are these two, the smaller pieces, which I'll go into in a moment. I'll just put them there. Now here we have the pattern pieces all cut out and they're ready to be sewn. So I'll just fill those back for you and I'll just put that to one side and I'll show you what I did with the interfacing. Okay, here are the pieces. So what I did was, I placed these pattern pieces onto the interfacing. I'm using a lightweight interfacing, as you can see here, it's very lightweight. You can either get interfacing that has an adhesive side to it. This has got very, very small, tiny little bubbles, and that's the adhesive that once you put a hot iron onto it, it will actually fasten itself onto the fabric, which I will do in a moment. So I'll cut those to the shape that I want. There, place them on my pieces like that. And the same here. You actually find with a interfacing, there isn't a, a grain as such. All you have to do make sure is that you cut them to fit the shape. There. Now I'm going to show you how to actually iron on the facing onto the fabric. I'm going to use a smaller piece here, put it onto my ironing board. This is the actual interfacing itself, as you can see it's quite soft. And always go for fabric, an interfacing that suits your fabric, the weight of your actual fabric. Okay. I'm going to actually use a, a calico here because it's um, it's a glue, it's an adhesive and I just want to make sure that my iron doesn't become all gooey at the bottom of it so I'm going to place it on top. So it's the right side of the interfacing and the wrong side of your actual fabric. Place it on top, put that on top there, make sure your, your iron's hot and just run it over in a circular fashion until it's sometimes happen okay now I just need to get this end here put that on there and go on there in a circular fashion it's always best if you can do to make sure that you do have another fabric on top just to protect the, the plate of your iron that's all you need it for there we go and I think you can see now that it's actually starting to stick you can actually see I'm starting to pull this away so it's actually working, the glue is actually sticking to the fabric. So I'll just do it again one more time. I think that should be it. Yeah, that's firmly on. Yeah, excellent. Okay, I'll just go on the right side of the fabric and just give that a quick iron over. See? Now you can see how the characteristic of the fabric has actually changed. If I just show you this one, you can see the difference in both of them. Even though it's still quite lightweight, which you actually do need, you still need it to be quite firm in comparison to that one. That one's interfaced and that one isn't. 